Hey there, Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com. When you're reloading ammunition, you've got a bunch of different choices with regard to how you can prime your cases. You can do it on the press, which is convenient because it can be incorporated into the steps you're already going through on the press. You can do it on the bench. I recently covered the Lee Auto Bench Prime. This enables you to have one hand free to work, work the priming unit, one hand free to grab cases, and it gives you a solid base and a solid platform. But there's a third option. You can also prime by hand. In this video, I wanna talk about the new improved Lee Auto Prime, which is a hand priming unit. Now, why would you wanna prime by hand? Some people prefer the feel, but it also enables you to take your cases with you and prime them. Maybe you even wanna prime cases while you're watching TV. So, let's take a look at the unit. I'm gonna do some 223 priming. I'm gonna do some 308 priming to show you small primers and large primers correspondingly. Of course, this unit will also work for priming pistol brass with small and large primers. Like the Lee Auto Bench Prime, it uses the dedicated shell holder set that is affordable and it's a dedicated collection of shell holders that you can use with either priming unit and it means you don't have to rob those shell holders off of your press, which is nice. So let's get into it. All right, so let's see what we got in the box here. So we've got our instruction sheet, which gives us an overview of how to put together the tool and use it. We've got our shell holder reference here, and again, I have the hand priming shell holder set, which is gonna give you pretty much everything you need to prime most popular cartridges for handgun and rifle. And then we've got uh, more instructions on the back. We've got the same folding primer flip tray as the auto bench prime, it appears. We've got the hand priming unit, which has these new ergonomic finger grooves on it and then we've got inserts for small and large primers. So do me a kindness, give me a couple of minutes, I'm gonna read the instructions and I will come back and show you how to use the unit. So let's get the hand priming tool ready to use. The first thing we're gonna do is gonna to be to load primers. So I'm gonna take the latch and flip it over to the open position. That allows us to unfold the primer tray. Load our small rifle primers. I'm just gonna kinda of Scoot this and shake it side to side. That writes all of the primers into the appropriate orientation. I'm gonna double check. We look good there. Flip the latch to the lock position, which is in the middle. Okay. Next thing is we need to load our shell holder. Now, the unit came with the small priming insert installed. So I'm gonna take my number four shell holder, hold the insert down while I put the shell holder in, let it up. Then we put our primer flip tray in and we turn it to the on position, that latch that I just mentioned. Okay, now we should see a primer, which we do. We can take a 223 case here, go ahead and prime it. Voila, very nice. These are actually the first cases that I've primed with this unit and it seems to work very smoothly very nicely. I guess I'll develop a technique kind of as I go. Very nice. Well, now that we've done some 223, I think it's time to do some 308. So what I'm gonna do is take the priming tray off. I've got a stray primer there. No problem, we can just grab that and throw it into our excess primer box here. We're gonna move the latch to the open position, dump our primers. So those are our small rifle primers. Now we're gonna load some large rifle primers. I don't need a whole lot since I'm just trying out the unit here. Same, same kind of a thing, we're gonna shake it kind of sideways, get all of our primers righted to the appropriate orientation, flip it to lock. 
Okay, now we need to change inserts. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, I've got one more primer there. Okay, so we're gonna take the handle, depress it, pull it out of the unit. Then we can take the insert out, put our large insert in, and then likewise get this lever back in, and that's what holds the insert captive. Let's take our shell holder out. And then we're gonna put our number two shell holder in for 308. Of course, we can use that for other cartridges as well, like 30-06 and 243 and 6.5 Creedmoor, that kind of thing, because they use the same basic case rim. Okay, now we're set up for large rifles on the hand priming tool side. We're gonna put our primer tray in, move it to the open position, confirm that we can feed a primer. Yes, absolutely. Now let's do some priming. So now we're priming 308, and wow, that, that primes really nicely, and it's slightly below flush, just the like, way we like to be there. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever had a priming tool that's been so easy to get used to and feel comfortable with. This thing is just working great. All right. Well, as you saw, it was really easy to get up and going with the Lee new Auto Prime tool. I really love the fact that it uses the same inexpensive shell holder set that I've got for the Lee Auto Bench Prime, same shell holder set as the old Lee Auto Prime tool, and now I have a comprehensive set of priming options. I can prime on press, I can prime on the bench with the Auto Bench Prime, I can prime in hand. So now I can watch TV and do my priming. Speaking of which, I got a lot more priming to do, so I'm gonna get going. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you don't wanna miss any of the action on Ultimate Reloader, please subscribe to my channel. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Until next time, happy shooting and happy reloading. Yeah.